Hello my loves. Right, today I've got Felicia, my flexi hand, out. Um, I had a bit of time, Mr B's putting in a new kitchen, so it's chaos here, so I didn't have time to do my nails. But I did have time to do this. I'm going to do you a glowing ice glacier nail. I know, that's so lush. So um, I'm trying this gel, it's from Yoyoji and it's a builder gel. I, I, It was a bit too thick for me, but... The salon was very cold and even though the salon was warm the gel was cold and any of you hard gel girls will know and guys will know that when it gets cold it's like really horrible to work with and I forgot to bring my gels in last night so yeah it was a bit of a bugger to work with but we got there in the end so I'm just like building a smile line um, area here very um, messily but you know Nothing a file won't fix. Actually, because it's self-leveling, it smooths out beautifully. It's It was just really hard work getting it where I wanted it because it was super, super sticky. Um, because it was so, like, cold, it was more... It was more like a really hard sculpting gel. But anyway, it cured that. That's a three-minute cure, that one. Um, and I'm filing it with my Nailmate file, so I'm just filing in the smile line there. Giving it a little filey filey, straighten up those walls, make them nice and crisp. I love filing gel. I love filing gel so, so much. Now look, I know a few of you have mentioned light elegance to me and I've mentioned light elegance myself, but I mean, it's so freaking expensive and I don't have any clients that have hard gel. So I would literally be purchasing for the sake of this for YouTube and stuff like that. So do you know of any brands of hard gel that are equally as good um to be honest I don't really need colored hard gel because i have gel polish i just need really nice builder gels because i love the valentino hard gel i absolutely love it but they don't have a cover pink um i'm gutted so any other ones i can't seem to get fusion here in the uk unless anyone knows a supplier Right, I'm going in with a new colour I've got from Madame Glam, and I can't remember the name, so I'll put it in the description box. I got three new blue colours, and um, I thought of this instantly. So, yes, I will put the link in the description box. And we have an exciting event coming up in November. Well, it is November now, but very, very soon. Very soon. And I'll put a video out on the day to let you know. Eek! So I'm not doing, I'm not painting up the wall like you do with a 3D French. I'm painting at the bottom of the smile line. Just to give it some definition, that's all. No need to do anything else. Give it a bit of definition, just feather it down a little bit. but And then I'll just cure it for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. Okay, that's that done. I'm now going to take my Valentino Builder Gel. This is thicker than the One Step Gel. So the Valentino One Step Gel is slightly thinner, but the Builder Gel is great if you want to kind of keep it in place. So I'm going to apply um, a relatively thin coat of this, enough for me to mould it into the glacier shape but not so much that it takes over the nail because I still need to put design colours and cap it. So, I'll just grab a bit more. It was all so thick and sticky because it was cold, but what can you do? It's bloody cold. So, I'm just working it side to side down the nail. And then, once I'm happy, I'll just take off the excess. Don't need that. Swipe it off. And I'm going to get my cellophane, plastic wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call it, my loves, cling film. And I'm going to put it over the gel and just kind of push it about a bit to make ridges. So you want lumps and bumps. That's what you want. Um, 
sometimes it does it really randomly on its own and it's perfect other times you have to play with it a little bit depends on the day i guess but once you're happy with the amount of ridges that you have i'm just using my poly gel tool then um pop it in the lamp with the cellophane still on it and cure it for the required amount of time for this gel it is 60 seconds take it off have a little look beautiful and now I mixed some blue ink with a bit of base coat, but it wasn't really showing very well. And I was a little bit disappointed. I was like, oh, that doesn't look very good. So I wiped a bit of it off and then just went in with a little bit of the blue ink and dotted it here and there, which was quite nice. And then I cured that for 30 seconds. And then I took another colour of the blue gel polish from Madame Glam, which I'll put in the description box because I can't remember the name of it. And just... Do you know what it was really random i just kind of went over some of the ridges and then it looked a bit too solid and i didn't like it because i want it to look a bit natural a bit like if you were to take a glacier and put blue ink into it it would disperse in different ways i kind of wanted that look so i decided to use my gloves um my fingers with my gloves on obviously to kind of disperse it a little bit and push it around a bit and i did the same here just applied a bit of gel and then just dispersed it with the tip of my finger then i cured that and then i went in with another gel from madame glam and this is beautiful this has got blue and silver uh, glitter and holographic little pieces perfect for that icy glow and i put that into all of the divots all of the dips on the nails um surface so every low point had a little pool of this sparkle as if it had gathered inside so i did that on all of those and then i cured that for 30 seconds And then I took Glitterati's Fairy Chrome Pigment in blue and I went over all the raised parts. They're still sticky from the, all the residues of the gel. Now you can't see it so much right here, but at the end you will see the effect it has because as you tilt and shift the nail, it glows this beautiful blue color and it's like an icy blue. It's perfect. It makes the nail look like it's sort of glowing at certain angles. And that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want the solid one like I did with the silver. I wanted more of a, a glowing, mysterious looking, like it's got lots of bits inside. Icy, wintry nail. And I'm just going back in here and there with a little bit more of the holographic gel, just to define it a little bit, because some of the pigment went on it. Once I've done that, I will cure it in my lamp again for 30 seconds just to make sure everything's in place. And then I'm going to take that Valentino Builder Gel and I'm going to encapsulate this whole nail. I would normally use my one-step gel for this, but I'm pretty much out of it. So I thought, well, I've got this one and I've not really used it. I just love the clarity. It's so perfect for this kind of nail. So I'll let you watch me do this.
Then once I'm happy with that, I will cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Remove the tacky layer. Now there might be bits now where you start to see it glowing through, but it's just so gorgeous. I'm gonna file it into shape, obviously, because it's rather lumpy. So I'll get that all filed in. I always do side walls and side walls and free edge cuticle, and then the entire nail. Checking down the barrel and everything to make sure it's nice and even. Even if it's not a client, you still want it to look pretty. So we get that done. I have sped that up. I do not file that fast. Crikey, imagine if you could. That would be easy, wouldn't it? Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna take all the dust away, brush the dust off, check the nail, and now I've got some beautiful Shrovskis. These are blue opal, I think, I'll check, I'll check. These are the AB Kite, and these are AB Sapphire. Stunning, all from Angel Crystals, all Shrovsky Crystals. I'm using the Angel Crystals Adhesive and their pickup tool. And we'll apply that AB kite and then above that I'm just using a micro swab to get into the nooks and crannies. I'm going to apply two um, AB sapphires. Make sure I get them as even as I can. It won't, might not look even to you because you're looking at it from a different angle, um, slightly sideways but it was fine from my angle. <laughs> and then I'm going in with the blue opals, air blue opal, that's what they are. Beautiful they are, so gorgeous. And I just love this combination with the AB in the center. It really gives that icy glow, love it. And I'm just alternating those colors, adding a little bit here, a little bit there. This was very much on a whim, this nail. I've had the idea kind of in my head, but I didn't plan it because I didn't have time. So it was a bit of an experiment, but I was just, I loved how it turned out. In an ideal world, you know, I'd sketch and all that malarkey, but did not have time, honey. And I thought, you know what, that's enough. That is perfect for this nail because we don't want to overpower the rest of the nail. So I'm going to go in now and apply Madame Glam's top coat. And you might see some of the glowing. Can you sort of see it? You'll see it more at the end, I'll show you. It's just beautiful. Um, and then I'll cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds and I'll show you the final little video. I do hope you've enjoyed this now. If you've got any questions, or if you recreate it, tag me. I will feature you on my Instagram. I'll put you in my story. See that glow? Anyway, see you soon. Tally bye.